Hello, Cyphus community. Welcome back to New World. Thanks, Constables. In this video, I'm going to be driving the Tier 8 German heavy tank, the Astron. I think that's how you say this name. But that's what I'm going to be calling it for the rest of the sphere. So, this is another Halloween tank. It has the ability to, in the Monster Mash mode, it has the ability to fling tanks forward, just like the Dreadozer, but this is the one that's not behind like a licensed deal. So, they took the Ramatoff Panzer, Ram Panzer, M48 Ram Panzer, and made it into a heavy tank and changed a little bit of the stats. Does it work as a heavy tank? We'll see how that works. But let's first get into the equipment and crew skills that I have on this tank. The equipment is the advanced power train, advanced loader, um, yeah, advanced loader, and the advanced stabilizers. Now, my crew skills is nine skills. It's born leader, rapid loading, steadying, situation awareness, off-road driving, and six sense. Also, do want to mention the smash test you're seeing right here on Redshire. I did not have these three skills. I did not have clutch braking, armor angling, or rapid aim. I forgot to load the three last skills, so oops. Oh well, but either way, I still did really, really nicely. Now, this tank actually has pretty decent amount of armor. The shovel on the very front of your tank, it's 80 millimeters thick, so that's pretty thick. Its whole armor is 152 to about 101, depending, depending on the places that you hit. The turret armor is anywhere from 127 to 100, 254. 254 is all around the mantlet. And now your giant cupola is 200 millimeters thick, so it's going to be pretty hard to pin it. And look at that. There's the death chariot right in front of me that I got to kill. So, cool. You do get 1,500 hit points. That's on average. That's about average of your hit points. Your mobility does really suck at 35 forward, 14 reverse, with a terrible horsepower per ton at 11.07. So that really does suck. Uh, your view range is 380, so you can, if you put born leader rations and situation awareness on this tank, you can get your view range up to 442. So you can actually start spotting for yourself if you equip it like that. Penetration is 218 on your standard, 280 on 282 on its premium, and 60 on its high explosive. And you do 360 damage per shot. And your DPM is 1663. You actually have a very low DPM. Your gun's not okay, your gun is kind of low. It's kind of disappointing. It's got 360 alpha with a very long reload of 13 seconds. And it also is pretty inaccurate with a 2.7 aim time and a 0.4 accuracy. That that's that feels like the Death Chariot should have that. I didn't look at the stats, but that's pretty much the stats that the Death Chariot should have. Or a gun that hits for like 400 or 440 on tier 8. But not one that hits for like 360. So, yeah, your accuracy of the tank and your reload. It's pretty terrible, gotta say. But hopefully the armor does actually work for this tank. And currently in this mode, you've been seeing that. I bounced 2,740 damage. Got a couple a couple thousand assists. 2,732. Got hit by the artillery. And I also have 9 degrees of gun depression on this tank. Also, I have two matches for you, so... Yeah, in case this one's not good enough, there you go. So basically, what do you want to do in this tank? You want to use your 9 degrees of gun depression and go, not hold down, but kind of expose your, like, um, shovel on the front. Use your 9 degrees of gun depression, don't go hold down, but try to expose, like, the whole armor a little, especially where the shovel is. And there's another tip I have for, like, blocking damage, but that's in later on, on the next replay. So, yeah, that's in the next replay to show you exactly how to 
do like the second great blocking damage in this tank how you can actually bait people into shooting the shovel where there's no armor behind the tank so that's always really nice also i kind of want to say what the silver boost is for this tank it's a 50 percent silver boost 15 percent xp boost and yeah so that match we made 114,000 silver got best game for a lot of stuff got a still all metal unsurprisingly and let's move on to the second replay now the second replay actually does start on the humble star and yeah so obviously i'm going to be going up to the hill because i want to use my nine degrees of gun depression and try to use its armor to the max where i'm kind of baiting shots into my shovel and yeah and you're actually going to see how slow this thing can be with like climbing up hills especially on the helm star field and i have improved my horsepower ton as best as i can get it except without the fuel now my horsepower per ton is 11.62 with the powertrain activated and i'm going to be climbing up this hill at a very slow 10 kilometers per hour and i don't remember what tier we're in i think oh yeah we're in tier 10s this is a tier 10 matchup so let's see how this tank actually does against tier 10s also there's a scorpion that has run up here use its superior mobility to get up here now is that going to be good for the scorpion um no the scorpion's actually going to get itself killed very 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 quickly because there's no resistance uh no help up there right now there is a tvp 50 51 now the scorpion is actually popping out he's ricocheted off the 48 patent there goes the shell coming down now the 48 patent gets tracked out in the open the t95e6 kills the scorpion and the 48 patent managed to put a shot into my upper plate where the shovel is not protecting it now now it's just all all I gotta do is just find a killing shot on the 48 pattern, but let's see if I can get a shot onto this T95-6. Now, the accuracy, you definitely fill it in this tank, especially if you don't have anything working for it to make it better. I There was a match on Cliff where I was trying to snipe the, uh, the tortoise cupola, which is a very big cupola, and I just could not hit it. And I was like 120 meters away from it. I just... Could not hit the tortoise cupola. So yeah, the accuracy does really does suck on this tank. Now, this TVP is actually going to start pinning me. It's going to start firing its heat rounds at me. As you can see, one of them fly right past me, over me, and the other two is going to put straight through the turret. Which I don't even know how I made that shot at the T95E6. Now, I realize there's a Tiger 2 with a 5 that's so almost dead, so hoping if I could put a shot into that Tiger 2. Because the Fodge, if it's using the big gun, it has 4 shots, that's 390 alpha, that's about 1600 damage in a clip, which I can put a shot in and secure the kill on the Tiger 2. Now, there's a 277 down here, and there's other tanks down here. We're going to put a nice, decent shot into 277. Now, you're actually going to see the accuracy really do suck in this tank, in this match. Now, this is a actually pretty good position for the ramp, uh, for the Astron. Because it's, my shovel is actually protecting my hull armor. And it's actually protecting you know, quite a bit of my turret armor, too. And I'm trying to bait people to shooting my shovel. And I'm going to secure the kill on the Type 4 Heavy. Goodbye, Type 4 Heavy. Now, this 277 is going to give me a little bit of trouble because he's going to slim a premium round straight into my turret. And now this is where the accuracy is really going to suck because I'm trying to aim for a spot and missing the tank completely. And this is the other, like... This is the baiting thing I was talking about earlier. If you angle your tank like this and you bait the tanks bait the enemy to shoot in your shovel when you're at an angle like this 
they're not really going to go through unless they have extremely high penetration and it's not heat. I like the Ajit 277 here. And the Ajit 277 is just going to start firing heat. I think that last one was a high explosive chill. And I finally managed to hit my target, but it ricocheted off. So I'm just going to switch off my high explosives to knock them down. Because I do have nine high explosives. And look at that. It comes out and out in the open and I have a high explosive round loaded instead of the AP. Now I'm looking for a shot on this other tank. So I've decided I was like, okay, I can't get the shot off in that tank. And let's just go around and try to go help out my friendlies. Now actually going downhill is actually quite good. It's going like 41, 42, 43. Eh, it's not the fastest of heavies. Definitely is not. The armor does work quite decently, but the gun is pretty inaccurate, like I've been telling and showing in this replay. In both replays. Also, if you are not subscribed, consider subscribing because it's free and it also helps out the channel a ton. Now, there's two tanks left. There's the Striker that is f full health and the Ajit 704. Now, this Ajit 704, well, the Striker I don't really have to worry about until he hits, like, the outskirts of my turret or my side or rear armor. Don't really have to worry about the Striker or <laughs> unless it fires high explosive. High explosive will definitely kill me this round. Doesn't matter what tank it's from. As long as it doesn't hit the shovel. Now, the Ajit 704 actually has a high enough penetration to go through decent amounts of parts of the shovel, especially if I'm not using the gun depression here. And, yeah, we're on the railroad, and there is no using gun depression. I get spotted, and I found the striker. I was like, okay, I'm just going to be shooting a striker. And, I was like, and there's an Ajit 704 all the way down there. He pens me. Actually, he goes straight through my shovel. And now we're just going to skip to the in-game results. So we did 2,955 damage, 522 assists, 1,290 block. And that's it for this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Also, remember to subscribe because I was not. And peace out. See ya.